Hey guys, welcome back to That Modern Dude. Today we're talking cameras because it is photo keener time, which means we're expecting a lot of news about gear and new systems. And Panasonic has jumped off the mark announcing two full frame mirrorless systems, the Lumix S. So we're getting two flavors. We've got the S1 and the S1R. Basically, the first is gonna be a 24 megapixel. This is sort of like a hybrid system focused on photo and video. And the S1R, which is a 47 megapixel sensor, they're touting this as the ultimate photo creation machine. And there's some big news here. So obviously we've had a lot of mirrorless system announcements over the past few months with the Nikon Z6 and 7, obviously the Canon EOS R, which I spoke about up here. And what's really exciting is Panasonic has been dominating the mirrorless market with their Micro Four Thirds GH5. They've got the G9, the G7, G85. They've been killing it. And what's been really impressive is that they've been able to develop systems that are not only great for photographers, but also videographers. They know who their consumer base is. So with the full frame mirrorless systems, we don't have a lot of specifics. They have given us very general answers to the specs. But one of the big ones is they are announcing 4K at 60 frames a second. This is huge because there are no real full frame mirrorless systems that sport that at the moment. With that 4K 60, they're giving us dual IS, which means the sensor will be stabilized and it will also speak to stabilized lenses, which is another huge plus. Now, we haven't been given a full shutter speed for it. However, they are saying it's gonna provide high speed shutter. So we're probably looking at 10 frames a second there if it's to keep up with other cameras in the market. They're also touting that it's gonna have the highest resolution EVF on the market, close to real world scenario, looking through a normal viewfinder. So we're not getting specs here, but that's what they're saying. We're also getting dual SD cards and XCD cards on these new cameras. And it's gonna have a tilty screen, not a flippy screen, a tilty screen. Uh, that sucks, but it is what it is and they are going gun ho on the weatherproofing, saying that this is gonna be one of the best sealed cameras out there. Apparently, they've already taken this camera into below freezing conditions, minus 40, and it, and it didn't skip a beat. S1 and S1R are coming with Leica's L mount, and this is a partnership that Panasonic has built with Leica and Sigma. This is something we've seen them do in the past with Olympus, merging using the exact same mount so you can buy glass from either company and use it on the camera. Doing this is gonna really open up the market to other lenses. Now they're gonna start the Lumix S line up with three lenses. We have a 50 mil F 1.4 and that thing looks like a beast. A 24 to 105, which is quite a typical kit lens to come with these sorts of cameras and a 70 to 200. What's interesting is they haven't announced apertures for those last two lenses. We sort of expect probably an F4 for the 24 to 105 and probably a 28 or an F4 for the telephoto zoom lens. In terms of autofocus, these are going to be contrast based, similar to their Micro Four Thirds lineup, but they're saying that there will be deep AI integration to help improve it over time. So until these systems get in the hands of reviewers, we're not going to really know how well that's going to work, but it's not gonna be as good as the Canon or Sony cameras. Now, these cameras are set to release next year in 2019, so they are announcing them rather early, but definitely something to be excited about because Panasonic, like I said, has a history of really smashing it out of the park and building all round cameras with their micro four thirds range. But jumping into the full frame space, they have the chance to dominate the market here. Pricing is not announced, but with the two different specs, I reckon the pricing is gonna be pretty similar to what we have with the Sony a7 III and the a7R III. So there you have it guys, just a quick preview of the new Panasonic full frame cameras. Definitely something to get excited about. Mirrorless is mirrorless systems, are absolutely killing it at the moment. And I think Panasonic's offerings could potentially be game changers when they drop next year. That being said, we are still waiting to hear about the Sony A7S III, hopefully announced in the next month. So who knows? If you enjoyed this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know in the comments, are you excited for Panasonic's new cameras? Do you think that they're gonna take the mantle for best hybrid mirrorless systems? Let me know in the comments below. Till the next one, guys. See ya.